carry malformation. Uh, um, undiagnosed apnea for decades that I was fighting to get diagnosed with. No one could diagnose that. Severe sleep walking and severe sleep eating for decades. No one could diagnose that. That was from one of the drugs that they were giving me. The apnea was being made worse by the drugs that were being given me, given to me. And now the life-threatening insomnia from Chiari malformation is being misdiagnosed. I've lost decades of income. I'm in debt. I've lost almost everything. I've lost my car. I'm drowning and my hand is my hand is sticking out of the water waving a white flag. Losing my vehicle was catastrophic. And there's no apology and there's, oh my God, I'm sorry, we failed you. Oh my God, we'll try to do better. It's flipped around and I am blamed. And literally I've had doctors tell me that none of that is true. And I've had doctors say that I'm lying about my story. So not only, you know, are you injured, the injustice of it the insult, but it's flipped on you to make you sound like you're the bad guy. I was almost killed from two, two, the two medications, getting off of them. I am severely sick. I, I'm sleeping upright. I can't breathe laying down. I've got pinched nerves everywhere. Um, that's a story that I haven't told on here because it's too traumatizing and I'll try to do one or two, two videos about it, but I'm in, I'm in shock. I'm in a state of trauma. I'm still severely sleep deprived. I'm, I'm, I'm destroyed. I'm fighting for my life. And there's been no mercy, right? Victim blaming. And while you're being victim blamed, they expect you to be silent. And they expect you to withstand and accept all the victim blaming. And then if you're not silent, it gets worse. Like, no matter what they're doing to you, they expect you to suck it up and take the blame. When you treat people respectfully after you harm them, after you injure them, after you cause them suffering, financial suffering, physical suffering, loss of quality of life, If you apologize, people are going to react far different, right? If you continue to blame your victim, how do you think they're going to react? How do you think they're going to feel? I'm in shock. I'm in a state of absolute trauma and like the destruction here is just incredible. There's no way of recovering unless people come to rescue you, unless people have mercy and are willing to just help and give. And it's a, it's a completely different story when you're 20 years old or 30 years old. I don't have a degree. I don't have a degree to fall back on. 
if I got well to get back into the workforce. I'm in a state of shock and trauma. <laughs> 